you guys interested in some cool music, such as the ones I use in my videos, I am now partners with Soundstripe. That is a company I use to go and get music for my videos, for my intro, my outro, sometimes inside the videos themselves. I made a couple like that. But use the promo code Ethan Voris. I repeat, Ethan Voris to go and get a discount on sign up. You can do just a couple months or a year and you can do like the premium one and the premium one gives you all the latest and greatest music around. And it also gives you really cool sound effects they can put into your videos as well. So if you want a video that has a lot of cool music or a lot of cool sound effects, go check out Soundstripe, link in the description down below. Don't forget to use the promo code Ethan Voris. So, uh, before we crack on with the video, we I just want to give a huge shout out to Tom Kelly uh, for letting me do this car review. They let me do a whole lot of car reviews. They were the first ones to actually say yes to me and let me do my very first car review, which was over the 2020, not 2020, over the 2018 GT350. So that was really fun. And now look, I'm doing a bunch of cool videos with them as well. So go ahead and uh, check them on out. They're really cool and I'll have their link to their uh, uh, website in the description down below. All right, so today we're doing another car review and it's over the 2021 Chevy Tahoe. All right, so first off, we're gonna talk with the, about the front grille and stuff. And this is made around the, the front grille, is designed after the new, uh, the all new Silverados that you can tell that they have very similar front fascia but this one's just been edited and look a bit better and I think it looks really awesome on the 2021 uh, Chevy Tahoe and I do like this grill way better than the uh, Silverados and stuff uh, th that was a big controversial point was the new front fascia but I think they look really cool and I like this one a bit better and I like how the lights are the uh, all day daytime running lights. I like how they are just angled around like that. Gives it a nice menacing look. A bit more sporty look as well. And you can see straight through right there. So that, that's a nice little point on the Tahoe. Come right over here to the wheel well and you can see straight through it. You know, down force. Gonna go set track times with that, you know. Imagine if someone took this through the track, that'd be quite funny. But uh, yeah, and what I'm doing today is the high country. So this is the Denali, the, the highest end version of the Tahoe. And you see when, as I go through the vehicle, they have this all over. So you won't forget, you got the highest trim level, the best trim level version of the Tahoe. So yeah, this is a really cool looking really good looking vehicle i honestly don't know what this paint color is but i like it it looks really really good and right here as well as i just noticed it says high country so you won't forget this is the high country uh this has cameras all over such as right here right underneath the bow tie i hope you guys can see that quite well there you go you can you can barely see it there you go you guys can see it now Right below the Chevy bow tie, you have cameras just facing. You get 360 view, rear view camera. Uh, this is actually the first one I've seen that actually where you turn the steering wheel, the front camera actually turns as well. The lines turn to show you where you're gonna go. I, it's very common with the rear view camera, but I haven't seen one like that for the front one as well. But yeah, this is a full size Chevy SUV. It came out in the early 2000s, not in 2000, the year itself. And here's the back. Uh, it has a couple cameras right here. Yeah, it's a bit bright out today. And there's a couple cameras right there. You can tell as it says, it says Tahoe. Instead of being over here on the side like the previous generations, it was on the side right there. But now it's up here, front and center. So everyone knows you're in a Tahoe. Yeah, this is a really, really cool looking vehicle. So let's go 
we already talked about the exterior let's hop on in and talk about some of the cool features it has inside so actually before we get on with the interior the engine and stuff right back here on the tail lights it says Chevrolet on the left side on the right side it shows a Chevy bow tie nice little attention to, de to detail uh, right there I, I really like small little cool features like that but now I have the key fob it's a bit bulky and stuff but you'll notice as I turn it over it has quite a bit of buttons so it has the panic the lock and unlock and also the start but as you can tell it has these two buttons and that's for that so if you click the bottom one twice you can tell it's a smaller one click it twice and the window opens and let me put the key fob in my pocket real quick and yeah the window opens just like so but you might be wondering about the uh, windshield wiper and look it's hitting right below there and if you right up below the duct tail open it up it stays right there so it won't look like a hideous uh, windshield wiper just sitting on the window and just moving up and down with it so I like that feature that's a pretty cool feature and you can just throw some stuff in here again it's really bright sorry but yeah this has some decent storage in here actually not that bad but so if you have like some two by fours or some skis or whatever you can have that open and instead of having the whole trunk open you can just have that one open come down and close it and then pull out the key fob again whoops that's are my keys not the Chevy here we go all right so click the top one twice click it twice there we go the whole thing opens up that's pretty cool that you can do that and sitting right back here there's a good amount of storage with all three rows up but notice this notice this you want to fold down these seats you can click this right here all right so that you have to click and hold it and it folds down oh well the seats in the way and then just click and hold it again and it comes right back up same with the uh, uh, right side just click and hold it goes down and click and hold it comes right back up I really like that feature uh, so you won't have to go find some lever or some straps or whatever and push it down and then pull it back up if you're busy you can just quickly do that and there's a nice little outlet right here as well to uh, plug stuff in and whatnot and there's a couple different tie down points as well back here so yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's uh, mostly tall and it is wide. Uh, but yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Especially for a, uh, a three row, everyday family full size SUV. All right, so while we're back here, there's also two more buttons right here. Click that. And the seats goes down. Yeah, that's pretty cool oh cool so I did not know that if you click it again that goes up and that's how you can access the back so it folds down and it folds up like that so the people in the back have easier time getting in and out so that's really really cool all right so watch this if you open up any of the doors the footstep comes out and then you close it just wait here for a little bit and pulls back in so it won't be just hanging out looking a bit ugly and just ruining the line of the car so that's really cool pops right out and like I said they're really really telling you this is a high country so all this is like it just shows a high country logo in the back area but yeah this is all folded up and stuff so why that's folded up let me hop back there and put up that seat and just show you how much room and stuff is back there. All right, so now I'm in the rear seat. This is back all the way and I'm really comfortable up front. And I'm just gonna work my way from the back to the front this time. 
and it's yeah my knees are epic instant you don't have leg room but you know that's very common with third row seats but I actually have quite a bit of headroom see I have quite a bit of headroom actually and this would actually be quite uh, comfortable for a short drive uh, probably like half an hour drive up to a city that I live nearby but I won't do this for like a whole really long car trip but I could I could manage this so it's not bad the seats are very comfortable as well and if you look over here there's a lot of plastic area but right here is leather and that's where you're gonna keep your elbows at that's where you're resting your arm at and stuff so you won't have to put it on some plasticky cover so that's really cool really nice attention to to detail come right over here there's actually a charging point port port charging port back here there's actually a charging port back here but uh it's actually USB-C not USB so that's a really bold move from Chevy doing USB-C's and not USB's as well they should have a mix of them but as you would see pretty much all of them are USB-C's uh, there's actually some USB's and stuff but back here it's only USB-C's so that's that's a pretty bold move yeah some cup holders and a nice little leather area but so let's say that you're sitting back here and uh, you have to get out or something and your friends are being mean and just teasing you and not letting you out well fear not there's a button right down here click that button click that button and there's a button right there click it and it folds down and now there's a strap right here and it folds right up that's really really cool uh, yeah I do have big feet and I was worried I was gonna come down and but uh, it didn't it, it did come close to my feet so just be wary as well if you have really big feet just keep it off to the side where and do that but when it folds down it, it, it goes up a little bit as well so the one that I'm doing today have screens in the back and that is really really awesome now as you can tell this one's on and that one's not just to wake it up I just tap it and it wakes on up but that is so cool I can't get over how awesome this is like I never done a screen oh well, I haven't done one that has a screen on it at all I'll be just shut off I have to go but that's all right uh that is really really cool and you can see where you're at as well and whatnot that's so cool that is awesome you just click the home button it's like just it's just like a big infotainment center back here but you can connect stuff and where you do it is right down there and you can connect stuff to it and watch videos that is awesome you can just go and watch videos in this going on I, I wish I had this growing up this is awesome I can't get over that but sitting back here I have really good amount of leg space again again I have really good amount of headroom as well and this is back all the way and this is the seat that I'm in is back all the way that's how it was when I was just behind it and yeah it has bag pockets on both seats it has some storage right here right here and all the way down as well and come over here you can do stuff with your climate control and you have USB C's and USB's and one thing I really like as well is a everyday home outlet inside of your car so I really really like that I think that's a really good idea and it should be like that more and more cars should have that and your cup holders are right here as well so there is a Panameric sunroof and this Panameric moonroof over in this car the full the whole thing can move back and forth so that's, that is really really cool you have a uh, your AC right there with your lights but yeah this is this is a big big awesome thing in this car I absolutely love that uh, I wish I, I had that going up that would be awesome 
So yeah, you just go around, you can play with it. I've, I actually haven't even played with it yet. So this is the first time for me as well. Uh, yeah, this is, this is really cool. That's awesome, I really like that. All right, so now the windows. All right, so you can go down all the way automatic and stuff, but it won't do it on, I'm pulling all the way back, but it won't do it. So that's kind of a, a bummer. Uh, I, I, if it's if it's automatic one way, it should be automatic both ways to me. Uh, I mean, I like how it's automatic going down, but I think it should be automatic going up as well. It just makes sense, you know. Just makes a bit more sense. But yeah, so that's uh, enough. We're back here. Let's hop on. Let's head on front. Talk about all the cool features up front. So it also says high country up here and the driver's uh, and front passenger area as well. So you're definitely not forgetting it's a high country. So it says Chevy right there. So I, that's a pretty cool feature as well. Same right here on the big infotainment screen it says Chevrolet. So let's turn this guy on. Actually, let's hop outside and turn this guy on because you can do it with the uh, key. So which comes standard on pretty much all American. Ah, uh, there we go, that was probably awkward. Which I'm pretty sure does come standard on pretty much all American vehicles now. Uh, only American manufacturers do this that I know of. I haven't seen any other manufacturer do this. So just click it twice. Locks itself. And there you go. So you just click unlock. When you come up to the car, unlocks it and you can hop, on, hop right on in. Alrighty, so one cool little thing is the RPM gauge. See how it says off instead of zero? And that's kind of weird. It's like, when you turn it off, it just heads down to off instead of zero. Bit weird. But yeah, there's a lot of different gauges up on the screen that you need to know. And here's the weird thing. Okay, so you look right down here and there's no area to select your gears. It's just storage and stuff. It's right here. Yeah, it's right here, which is a bit weird. Uh, yeah, so this is a button, lever, button, lever. So, now it's in reverse. You can see, it looks pretty cool. It's in neutral, and now it's in drive. And there's the front facing camera. See, I turn the wheel, it turns with it. So that's pretty cool. And now let's head back to park. And now it's in park. So that is really, really weird. Uh, i never seen a vehicle like that. I know Ford, they have dials, roughly right here, probably some down here. I've never seen that before, so that's pretty cool. And right down here, this is your low, so you can probably take off road or whatever. But the plus and the minus is your shifting. Yeah, there's, there's no paddle shifters on this. So you just go and click up and down, up and down. Yeah, so that's kind of kind of weird. I've never seen something like that. It's really, really bizarre to me. But yeah, this is a high country, like I said. Uh, you get nice leather pretty much everywhere. Nice smooth leather, nice stitching. The seats are very comfortable. The seats also says high country. And but the seats are very comfortable as well. They don't look bad at all. They, they look quite decent. Nice, luxurious uh, feel in this car. Uh, and right over here is your storage. Yeah, all right, so you just click, you just push this silver thing in, go, and nice storage. Oh wow, it's nice and cool in there. That feels awesome in there. Yeah, I just close it back up. It's quite a decent storage in there actually. And then let me move the keys. Yeah, this is your wireless phone charging area down here. You USB C and USB, and a nice little cigarette lighter outlet. So that is pretty cool. You can choose if you want the rear climate on or not. And this has heated and vented seats, but look at the heated seats. You can do both back and butt, or just back. That's pretty cool. And the vented seats are 
the cooled seats are really awesome. I love cooled seats. And likewise with the passenger side. Up here is your uh, climate control and how you control the infotainment screen a little bit. All right, so this is your infotainment center. Uh, pretty much just like any other ones. Uh, you can do a lot of cool different stuff with it. There's, you can tow with this. You can choose what uh, media is going on in the back. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool that you can choose what is on what screen and that's awesome. I really like that. That's awesome. So if like one thing is on here and another thing's on here and you want to get it switched, you can just switch it right there. That's really cool. And then you can switch it back right here. That's really, really cool. I've never seen that before. Yeah, I'm just I'm just amazed with these screens. That's awesome. But yeah, here's a camera. There's a lot of different cameras. So if you come down here and just click the button, you can choose what side you want. Come right over here. You can just do different things like so. That is really awesome. And then over here you can just, that is really, really cool. So there's cameras literally all over this place. That one looks a bit weird right there. And then this is for your trailering. So you can see how close the trailer hitch is and then different stuff like so. But yeah, and then your 360 is always on. It's right there. So that's, that's really, really cool that Chevy does that. All right, so as you guys can barely see, this vehicle comes with heads up display. And that thing is actually really massive, actually. Uh, here, let me move it up and down. The way you can move it up, my bad. The way you can move it up and down is this stuff right here, HUD. And then, and just push up to move it all back and forth and whatnot. And then info. You can just change the info a little bit. So right now it's just showing the angle that you're at, uh, your yaw, your pitch, and your what drivetrain you're using and how the tires are looking. So that's pretty cool. Or you can have it uh, if it's saying traction control is on or off, your speed, your speed limit. Or you can have it like this where it shows your, uh, uh, I don't know, you guys can't really see it. So I'm just explaining to you guys what it is. Uh, your, your, uh, front front car detection uh, I forget what that's called but it just detects how far ahead your car uh, another car is and starts going at speed uh, which I don't want to click that one yeah you can increase the brightness you can dim it down as well that's pretty pretty cool or you can have your compass showing as well so that's that's really cool and then right over here there's uh, some different stuff you can do for trailering and stuff. And then there's this blank one. This blank one actually does something. Come right over here. It's your sport. It, you can, this thing has sport mode and trailering and different stuff like so. so that's, that's pretty cool actually. That this thing has sport mode. Uh, never thought this would, but that's, that's pretty cool. All right, so like I said, there's storage right here. And then up here you can put stuff so it won't slide around. And this has a massive center console. So this whole tray comes out. Set it over there. And then there's like a big deep hole. And it's storage area you can put it at. USB, USB-C, and I believe that is actually an SD card. So that's actually really, really cool. And we're I actually never even, I know some of the cars I've been in has it, but I've never seen it. So that's actually pretty cool. I've never seen it before. So yeah, you can just put this back in like so. As I say, and I can't do it. Close it back up. And then come right over here and there's your glove box. Nice, decent glove box, not too shabby. All right, so one cool thing is you can actually display what the rear climate is. How I do that is I click this button. I click, pushed it down and that showed up. You can also turn it off and turn it back on. And then you can just choose how it is and whatnot back there. So that's pretty cool. I really like that. I like how they can do it back there and you can also do it up here as well. That's pretty, pretty cool. All right, so 
come up coming up here to this uh, it's always awkward for me to do this stuff but uh yeah that dial right there you can choose how high the tailgate opens up so three-fourths is just level with the roof max is opens up all the way and you can also set down and set up the rear seats as well with the dials on either side on the left and right side of the dial so these two you can do it like so so that's yeah, really really cool and you can mess with your sunroof as well you can open it up and have it go back it's automatic so that's really really cool and then you can close it back up So that is awesome or you can just tilt it so that is really really cool I do like that and there's a dial where you can move the whole thing and that dial let me see if you guys can see there we go that dial is that that's really cool oh, that takes forever that's a really big Panamanic moonroof uh, let's just move it back to where roughly where it was at There. that's pretty good so yeah you can do a lot of stuff with this up there uh, you can have your uh, garage set and stuff so that's I really like that there's a lot of stuff you can do with this vehicle it's a nice big bulky vehicle uh, you are like the king of the road in this vehicle so it's really awesome there's a lot of storage down here as well right here here and here so you won't have problem keeping a bunch of stuff in here with you that you need. Uh, this is a, besides the fuel economy, oh wait, actually looking over the fuel economy, 16. Yeah, not the best, but uh, uh, besides the fuel economy, this would actually be a decent uh, car to take on a car trip out to Colorado, Florida, California, New York, wherever you wanna go. This would be pretty cool. And sitting right over here is different things that uh, you can do with your safety features. You can turn on lane departure assist, parking assist, uh, cruise control, what, uh, all that stuff and whatnot. Auto start stop. That's pretty, pretty cool. I do like that. I do like that quite a bit. So yeah, this is a really comfortable vehicle. I really like this vehicle. But this one that I'm testing costs a mere $81,000 expensive these are not cheap uh, especially the high country being the highest trim level it's not cheap uh, but you do get a lot of stuff for your money um, it's really comfortable you get all this nice leather it's nice and luxurious in here uh, so I really do like this um, it's it's a really good car really comfortable nice stitching nice leather it's really big though so if, if you don't like driving really big bulky vehicles this isn't a vehicle for you but if you have a decent sized family and a lot of friends this is a vehicle for you okay so the power plant it has a 6.2 liter v8 with 420 horsepower and 460 pound feet of torque and this engine does come standard on the high country. You get the highest best package, you get the highest best engine. And there's also a V8 slightly smaller than this. Uh, I believe it's a 5.7. You guys can correct me down in the comment section down below. But you can also get a diesel, an eco diesel. Uh, so that one, I, I know it has the same uh, power uh, torque figure as the 6.2 liter v8 and I'm pretty sure the fuel economy would probably be better because on this one combined is 17 18 not the best it gets 14 in the city and 19 on the highway so it's not the best uh, fuel economy because this is a big engine requires a lot of fuel so I'm pretty sure the diesel would be a little bit better fuel economy wise as well but yeah, that is the power plant to the Chevy Tahoe. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this car review over the 2021 Chevy Tahoe. Uh, it was really fun for me to do it. I really like this car. And uh, it's, uh, and I really enjoy doing these. 
So you guys should say good review, nice job, and different stuff like that. That means a lot. That gives me the motivation to keep on doing it and doing all these stuff. So all this stuff on it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this car review over the 2021 Chevy Tahoe. You guys did don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe as well for more cool videos to come but as always i'm your chef